Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say the music I used in the intro is by, by a friend of mine, so you should go check it out, okay? It's underrated, and yeah, link in the description. Check him out, alright? Please. Welcome to Paradox Pokey's four years in Paradox. This is a creative journey for me, okay? So sit back, enjoy the ride, watch me go through the, the life and times of pa Paradox Pokey. But today, what I thought I would do is a sort of like a little bit of a story sort of thing take take you back just go through the the times of my four years in paradox okay this is just a a reminiscent a nostalgia trip so yo i hope you enjoy this if you're new be sure to subscribe because i uh i, I post i post a lot of videos now and yeah so guys enjoy and so the story goes. If you look back on my channel, you will see one video before any of my montages, any of that, where I shoot someone in, in, in Roblox, okay? I, I wasn't, I wasn't a psychopath. Now, this video is a long story, but basically, I was a cool guy in virtual Roblox London, and this guy I shot was the most important guy in the server, so, that was the first video on my YouTube channel, I just uploaded that, because it was like a, a cool, a cool thing to show everyone, now it has like 15k views, because it's the first video on my channel, everyone's like, oh, this is where it began, but really, that was just a standalone video, where the story really began, was a young 13 year old Pokey, inspired by his friend's Call of Duty mode, Touch. Sky uploaded this and I saw it and I was just like, yeah, yeah, I want to do this, but for the game I'm good at, Roblox. So, the first video I ever made on on an FPS game was an 8 killstreak video, which I, I released like a week late, but the first video I uploaded was a montage. So, this montage was an absolute classic featuring your favourite single kills and, and your, your quint feed. That's, that's what I called it. So the days went by, I was uploading more videos just for fun, getting some random kills. These were all projects I loved doing with Windows Movie Maker and Bandicam free version. This was a legendary point on my channel. So some point around February, I learned what a clip was. And I started trying really hard to get collaterals, kill feeds, all of that sort of thing. Just because I saw people in FaZe Clan doing it and I was like, I want to be like this. FaZe were genuinely the biggest inspiration for my channel. Around the same time, I learned what Paradox was from seeing Blizzard, number one on the Call of Roblox Year 5 leaderboards, and coincidentally, one of my friends called Stormy was also involved in the community. So I, I sort of like, I was destined to find Paradox, you know what I'm saying? And I found it. So as soon as I found it, I was watching their channel. I was the biggest fan from day one. I love the clan, love everything about them, love the team touches. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. I know I can be. I, w I was a confident young pokey. Very soon after I found what what they were, they commented on one of my montages about how they thought I was really good and I should apply for the clan. It, this this was honestly the peak of my life up to this point. I was so happy. I tried to I tried to play it cool by just saying, "Oh, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the support and stuff." But yo, I was freaking out. This was 2015. I then decided to dedicate myself to trying to join the clan, so I was hitting, I was playing all day, every day, trying to get all these clips, trying to get these trick shots, trying to get these kill feeds, and genuinely, I, I honestly, I think this might have been the biggest grind I've done, okay? I was just so, so passionate back then about doing it. So this led me to hitting a very, very large amount, <coughs> 25 minutes worth of clips for the recruitment challenge, and I ended up winning. Spoiler alert, I got in. I know, I know, okay, you, got, you guys didn't know, Paradox Pokey. Funny story, the recruitment challenge ended two months or one and a half months before they actually decided to tell me I was in the clan. But that was okay. I was on a nice holiday in sunny Spain, and I found out the news. They just uploaded it straight to the channel. I was so happy I got in the clan. This is where the journey starts. It has been four years since that day, and honestly, my life has changed in a lot of ways. I'm not going to say it was all because of Paradox, but really, Paradox led me to becoming a YouTuber, and being a YouTuber has been one of the biggest things I've, I've done, really. It's, it's, been, it's been cool, alright? 
I can't believe it's been four years. The time has flown by. Straight up, I still remember these days really clearly from when I was first in the clan. As soon as I got in, I was having so much fun in the summer grinding clips with other people, mainly Shadow and stuff. I was having, I was just grinding, okay? I thought getting in Paradox, I, I just wanted to keep going. I, I didn't think getting in Paradox was the end point. I wanted to take it further. I wanted to be, I honestly did want to be the greatest, that, that was like my my ambition back then. I was a bit shy at first, but the members were honestly dope, they were really supportive, it was fun. In August, so about two or three months after I joined, I became co-leader of the clan. After I trickshotted one of the most notorious tryhards in Call of Roblox CF5, Blizzard said, you know what, because you did that, you can, you can be the third co-leader of Paradox. At the end of the year, Paradox released the first team touch I was ever included in. Even though I was co-leader of the clan, this was the time I felt like proper involved in in the in the whole montages and all of that. At the start of 2016, I went hard with sniping, okay? I was I hit so many clips and I made so many montages and I started trying to work on growing my channel. I hadn't yet started making commentaries, but I was doing that. We released a Paradox 1k team touch, which was a very a very nice episode where I hit the triple collat trick shot. And the montages I made included Oblivion and Oblivion 2, which are my favourite montages to this day. So then I released my one year in Paradox. Which I will leave in the description because it was sick. If I if I say so myself, but nah, it it was cool. It had all my best clips from like the whole year. And since then, the time's really flown by. I started daily uploading. The community started oh. exploding. All right, what is up, guys? It is Pokey here. I got a lot more channel growth because oh my of my God. daily uploads, and all of a sudden, Phantom Forces was up there. Everyone was loving hitting clips. It was a beautiful time. Summer 2016. So then, at the end of 2016, the Team Touch came out. The 2.5k Team Touch. Start of 2017, I got banned from Phantom Forces, which was honestly one of the best moments in my <laughs> one of the best moments in my career because my channel started growing faster and faster faster than ever and i was focused on keeping keeping it going just trying to blow up more and more that was my goal i lost a bit of focus on paradox and clipping i can't lie i was still releasing some montages but it just wasn't it wasn't the same as 2016 to some people's sadness but honestly i'm happy i kept my channel trying to grow although we weren't releasing too much we did release a few montages including limitless one of my biggest montages ever six minutes and 20 20 seconds of of cool clips so i had exams and and funnily enough two years later we're in the same position o obviously it's over now don't worry i actually ended my daily upload streak sometime in 2017 as well which made it eight months flat of daily uploading i, I genuinely don't know how i did that but we have yet to do that again so then my channel started blowing up more i started varying my content a bit and it was going good but at the same time i was getting very stressed and burnt out with youtube the pressure from blowing up is on Honestly, not many people talk about it, but I just felt like my expectations were really high and it got to me. I was I was feeling quite bad with uploading, so it kind of threw me off a bit. But it was fun at the same time. We were blowing up and it was good. So I released some more montages. Nothing much but my 60k, my 77777 subscriber montage. And start of 2018, we hit 100k subscribers. So I lost a bit of momentum at the end of 2017. But generally, since then, it's been chill, you know. We've been up and down. And honestly, yeah, we've just been chilling with youtube trying different stuff i've been really focusing with making my content better rather than trying to stress too much on the views because i was just i i, I lost a bit of mo motivation but you know it was something i had to go through you know what i mean 2018 i did have a period where i blew up when the phantom forces event happened on the game i released my rank 200 montage and towards the end of the year we released frost 8 which that's one of my favorite montages i've ever made i had to make it just to just to show these fools that i hadn't completely fallen <laughs> that i hadn't completely fallen off Start of 2019, we didn't do too much, I was just working on improving myself and focusing on school. And now exams are over. Now we're here. I wanna say, 
this four years has been crazy. It's been up and down, you know. I'm not gonna lie, as, as far as sniping and paradox goes, it was mainly focused in 2015 and 2016, bit of 2017. But you guys have stuck with me. You guys have done a lot. I couldn't have done it without you. I wanna take this opportunity. I'm gonna miss a bunch of people, but some key, key shout outs I have are Blizzard, Legit, Tommy, Shad, Trad, Nut, Jumpy, RB, Silent, Raven, Zero and Noob. Shoutouts to you guys, okay? Shoutouts to the, the dons of the Paradox clan. I feel like it is worth mentioning that. I, sh I should say shoutouts to Synthesize OG because in my early stages of blowing up on YouTube, he helped me more than I could have asked for. I've got to be grateful and big up Sin. Appreciate it, man. So I'm grateful for the opportunity and now we're here. And so the story goes. Who knows? What will I? in the future. Have a good day guys, it's been Pokey.